All right, guys. This is the Maple Hill property. We can have view of this neighborhood real quick. Now you're on the hill. Oh, it's a super cute little neighborhood back here in West Carrollton. Let's head inside. Um, some of the first things I noticed walking in, let me back this up because it is a tight space. Uh, one of the first things I noticed, carpet's a little bit older, which is which is not um, not uncommon. Kind of give you the view from there. There's your coat closet here. Quite sick, correctly. Pop that back in. All right. So three beds, two and a half baths, one thousand twenty-five square feet with a finished basement. Puts them at $171 per square foot. So let's come on through the living room here. Uh, vinyl replacement windows, tool pane, so those are fine. A little dining area here. Let me give you the reverse view of that living room. Coming into our kitchen here. I like the little bar area that they've got here with the extra storage down there. I believe this is going to be our garage here. Tight little garage. It's got some length to it, but it is it is a tight little garage. So what you're going to have here is um, a lot of storage. Um, if you've got a little car, you can get it in there. It's an insulated door, updated opener. Um, your attic access is just a little drop down there, and you can see we've got a little bit of drywall damage here. All right. While I'm here at the back door, I'll take a peek out at this back patio. kind of cascades down to what looks like the exit from the basement. I'll check that out as well. Then we go around. Fence looks like it's in decent shape. So this is the roof to that exit in the basement. It doesn't look bad, and that should match what's up on top of the house. I'm checking our bathroom here. Check the bathroom. A little view of the backyard there. Blocked off there, so, so it's basically a pass-through. takes us down to our basement. We'll come back to that when we're finished with the main floor. First room off to our left. And I've got the camera zoomed out a little because these are kind of tight spaces here. It's a little bit older. It's not in terrible, terrible shape. That's the door there that will lead to um, that bathroom that we're blocked off on. Closet space is not bad. And this room has a second closet over here. Not bad at all. Back 
bedroom. Double wide closet space there. And let's go and check out the basement on this one. So far, not bad. I don't feel any settling. There's no funny smells. Um, biggest negative is just the older carpet so far. But we have not been to the basement yet. There's your furnace. It's an older decaying model. It is a high efficiency. So if I had to guess, maybe 15 years or so. Um, let's come right here off to the left. Very nice theater area. No funny smells, nothing crazy going on here. No signs of water intrusion. This is all finished space. This is gonna be your exit right here. I believe it's gonna go up to the outside. Yes, yeah, so that goes up to the backyard. There's a bunch of floor drain there for any rain that'll come in. It's interesting. And that'll lead you out to your backyard. Nice little cooking fire pit there. Unfinished area. I think this is all the unfinished space there is, though. I think they finished all the rest of it. I've not seen a breaker panel yet. Let me give you a view here from back here. Tons of space down here. For a 1,000 square foot house, you're almost doubling your square footage with the finished space down here because you still have all this space as well. This will probably be your water main. Yep. these open so we'll just leave those alone and then you've got a whole bunch of space here as well and this is going to be your final bathroom here Very nicely done. So they're looking for 175 for this one. It's been $171 per square foot. Which is not bad considering the basement space. All right, guys, that's all we've got for this one. Get it uploaded over to you.